Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good on behalf of Brigadier General Daniel Dent, General the Washington Army Daniel National Dent, Guard Commanding the General, Army welcome to the 96th General. Troop Command Change welcome of Command ceremony between Colonel Jack Mashallo and Colonel Kristen Durda. This ceremony Colonel. will include cannon fire with the potential to be felt and heard. We are honored to have a number of distinguished guests in attendance. Brigadier General Grennan, Command Sergeant Major Ecclestone, Command Sergeant Major Honeycutt, Chief Warrant 5 Gordon, Brigadier General Welsh, Brigadier General Dutcher, Brigadier General Smith, and all other distinguished guests. Thank you for attending today's ceremony. Present on the floor today are units from the 96th Troop Command. From left to right, they are the 303rd Cavalry Regiment, 741st Ordnance Battalion, the 133rd Washington Army National Guard Band, a color guard comprised of soldiers from 133rd, Headquarters and Headquarters Detachment, 96th Troop Command, the 144th Digital Liaison Detachment, and the 420th Chemical Battalion. The Commander of Troops for today's ceremony is Lieutenant Colonel Eric C., Operations Officer for the 96th Troop Command. The Command Bugler is First Sergeant Richard Little. The Adjutant for today's ceremony is Chief Warrant 3, Mikey Brown. Down, attention! Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the invocation. Today's official party is Brigadier General Dent, Colonel Mashallo, and Colonel Durda. Today's invocation will be given by Chaplain Forshee, the 96th Troop Command Chaplain. Good afternoon. Pray in your tradition as I pray in mine. Creator of the universe, 
we recognize your thank you for giving us life and this great nation which we continue to preserve and protect. We lift up to you Colonel Moshala. We thank you for his leadership and ask that you would bless his continued service and his family, especially a certain child with their schoolwork. As Colonel Durda assumes command, Lord, we ask for her that you would provide all that she needs to lead well with wisdom and courage, boldness and humility. Help her to understand this multi-tool of a brigade and its many some disaster strike our state, help her to provide leadership, to bring calm and stability as we did with the pandemic. Bless her love of Jesus be with you all. Amen. Please be seated. At this time, on behalf of the soldiers and families of the 96th Troop Command, Flowers will be presented to Colonel Mashalo's wife, Mrs. Tanya Mashalo, and mother, Ruth Mashalo, by Sergeant First Class Lagrande. Staff Sergeant Wigley will present gifts to his niece, Kathleen Klein. The red roses presented represent the color of the heart. It is an appropriate consideration with the loving concern that she has shown for our soldiers and their families for more than a year. Tanya, you will always have a special place in our hearts. Her roses are in full bloom, symbolizing the beauty and the fulfillment of her time here with us. A gift is being presented to the new FRG lead, Lieutenant Colonel Christian Durda, by Sergeant First Class Lagrande to welcome him back to the unit. The gift symbolizes the relationship between the families and the soldiers. Sergeant First Class Lagrande will also present flowers to Colonel Durda's mother, Linda Benjamin. Staff Sergeant Wigley will present gifts to Dominic, Amelia, and Maximilian. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the singing of our national anthem by Sergeant Shear. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly singing And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave oh the land of the free and the home of the
Please be seated. Dating back to medieval times. Soldiers often carried staves or standards into battle that unified them as a unit. Throughout military history, unit colors have marked position of the commander on the battlefield and served as a rallying point while attacking or rallying on the battlefield while attacking or rallying the sound at the, the forward edge of the battle the and loyalty of its soldiers of the, the, the colors are is soldiers. there also are the, the colors, colors. Are is. there also commands are the colors Sergeant major Command is the keeper of the and concerns major of the soldiers the keeper and, and concerns of the soldiers and The passing of the colors from Command Sergeant Major the Sandlin to Colonel Mashallo. Command Sergeant Major Sandlin to Colonel Mashallo signifies his last act of allegiance to that commander. His last act of allegiance to that commander. The passing of the colors from Colonel Mashallo to Brigadier General Dent signifies that the unit is never without officer leadership. The passing of the colors from the senior commander, Brigadier General Dent, to the incoming commander, Colonel Durda. signifies the passing of his trust and the responsibility for the unit and its soldiers. Assumption of command by authority of AR 600-20, paragraph 2-5 Delta, the undersigned assumes command of 96 Troop Command. Whiskey 7 Niner, Alpha Fox 2, Joint Base Lewis McCord, Washington, effective 06 May 2023. Signed, Kristen L. Durda, Colonel, LG, Washington Army National Guard, commanding. The passing of the colors from Colonel Durda to Command Sergeant Major Sandlin signifies the confidence that the commander places in the non-commissioned officer corps and is the Command Sergeant Major's first act of allegiance to his new commander. Please stand as Brigadier General Dent will now present an award to Colonel Mashallo for his credible service to the soldiers and families of the 96th Troop Command. Attention to orders. The Department of the Army has awarded the Legion of Merit to Colonel Jack M. Mashallo for exceptionally meritorious service while serving as the commander for the 96th Troop Command from 8 January 2022 through 5 May 2023. Colonel Jack Mashallo's leadership was critical to the success of the organization with positive impacts throughout the region and world. He selflessly shared his professional expertise and strategic vision as an inspiration to all with whom he served. Colonel Mashallo's contributions and exemplary performance are in keeping with the finest traditions of military service and reflects great credit upon himself, the Washington Army National Guard, and the United States Army. Signed, John A. Jensen, Lieutenant General, USA, Director, Army National Guard. Please be seated.
First Lieutenant Matsuzawa will now present a ceremonial shell casing to Colonel Mashalo. Command Sergeant Major Sandlin will now present a gift from the soldiers of the 96th Troop Command to Colonel Mashalo. All right, before I do that, I have to give a gift to Commander from myself, which I've done for other commanders last year. Seems like you've been here for about a year, sir. So on your new job as a Chief of Staff, I want to give you a journal. Keep track of all the good things you do and maybe some of the bad things. Somewhere <laughs> some of those books or those pages, there might be a note from me saying, I miss you, you know, I wish you were here, that kind of and the second thing is, uh, for, the, for the soldiers and, and visitors, <clears throat> Colonel Michal and I made a trip last year down to Umatilla, Oregon, and to Rogue River, Oregon. Only one. Only one of the trips. Well, we also went to Alaska, Iowa, we went to a lot of them. But the one that stuck, stuck out was the Oregon trip. Because from here to Umatilla was, what, four hours, five hours? From Umatilla to Rogue River was six and a half hours, and then from Rogue River back up here was another five and a half hours. And in that time, we ate these dill pickled seeds. You must have ate 20 bags full on that. <laughs> I tried to keep up, and I couldn't taste for about a month after. So I figured three bags were at least getting home today. <laughs> and now, since we know he doesn't have any taste, <laughs> oh, from the soldiers of the 96th Troop Command, I want to present you with <laughs> the size, this is the best yet I ever got. <laughs> Thank you, my kids. This is the best yet I've ever gotten in my life. Right here. And I told you, don't give me something to hang on my wall, but you disregarded my guidance. You got me the best yet I've ever gotten in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commanding General, Brigadier General Dent. All right, well, good afternoon, everybody. General Grennan, General Welsh, General Dutcher, General Smith, Chief Lawson. I got to pause right there. To have three general officers from the Air National Guard and their chief present in an Army MSC change of command ceremony is pretty cool. And it speaks to the reach and the jointness of the 96th Troop Command. So thanks for being here. Command Chief Gordon, Guardian 7, Rainier 7, fellow commanders, distinguished guests and alumni, soldiers, friends, and family. Thank you for being here to witness a great Army tradition, the changing of command between two great Army officers. It's my honor to spend the last day of Jack Mashallo's command in the presence of these great soldiers. Of course, first I want to provide a special thanks to the Mashallo family for the support that you've given Jack during what's always a tough and challenging time in command. The recognition that you're going to see in here today would have never been possible without your sacrifice and support. We all owe you a great round of applause. Now, I'm proud to be here with the 96th Troop Command, a unit with a long-standing tradition of great leaders that have infused all those principles into this outfit, and they still live by them today. Units with the heart of Command Sergeant Major West, the vision and drive of a Greg Allen, and the work ethic of a Dan Hagemeyer. The 96th Troop Command, our most diverse 
major subordinate command with strategic and influential reach, as evidenced by its leadership in the Homeland Response Force mission, one of only a few in this nation, a joint mission with consequence that makes them stand ready every day for a tough event in the homeland. I sleep better every night knowing that this outfit is leading that mission. Of course, the foundation is right here on this drill floor. These units, the 420th Chemical Battalion, serving with distinction throughout this state every day, the road warriors of the 1041st, the foundation of the 792nd, the community connection made by their engineers, and of course the combat-tested 506, who finds themselves preparing once again for deployment. The 144th connects armies every day. The EOD, proven in combat and in the homeland. Horace, you serve with selfless service and a uniquely talented expertise. And then, of course, there's the CAV Squad, an organization that has fought through a gauntlet of a five-year training period that rivals any maneuver unit we've had in the state. They're on the doorstep of XCTC, JRTC next year, and then again, Another deployment. This organization understands the big six. They promote strength, and they win the value proposition every day. It's because these soldiers in these units, they believe. You see, they genuinely believe that they are a part of something bigger than themselves, that the character, climate, and behaviors of this outfit and this profession mean something, and they value it. They value it in large part because of the leadership that they get from Colonel Jack Michalow and Command Sergeant Major Sandlin. To all the soldiers here, I thank you for the unwavering support that you provided to Excelsior 6 and 7. Jack, I thank you for the guiding hand that you've placed over this formation while you've been in command. You see, Jack's an old soldier in all the right ways. He understands soldier first, tough as nails lives, leads, and serves in accordance with the Army values, steadfast in maintaining standards, a discipline that he probably learned from his old red leg days with General Grennan. Jack, I'm a better leader. I'm a better human for the time that we've spent in command together. You have served and led well, my friend. And on behalf of the Adjutant General, the Sergeant Major and I, we're proud of you, and we thank you for what you've done here. And we're all very excited to see what Colonel Michal is going to do as the next Washington Army National Guard Chief of Staff. Now, we can draw inspiration on a day, a tough day like this, knowing that an officer like Kristen Durda is taking the reins. We welcome Kristen and Team Durda back to command, exactly where she belongs, an officer that's proven, decorated both in combat and in garrison, She's masterfully led the J3 enterprise during a tough time, improving its reach, jointness, credibility, relevance. More importantly, we know that Kristen is an officer that is a soldier-centric commander. And there's no doubt, Kristen, that you're going to do what you always do. You're going to improve the foxhole. And you're going to increase the strength and power of the Excelsior team. Now, to all the soldiers here today, the Sergeant Major and I thank you. We thank you for making the decision, away from all the other things you could be doing with your life, to stand together with our guard right now in this formation. We thank you for your sacrifice. We need you now more than ever. The Sergeant, Sergeant Major and I are proud of all of you. I want you to keep being soldier first. Soldier first. Ladies and gentlemen, the outgoing commander, Colonel Mashallo. General officers, Command Sergeant Major, senior leaders, soldiers, family, friends, and alumni. I see a couple of former uh, 96 Troop Command commanders over there. Uh, Colonel McMahon, Colonel Allen, and I think Colonel McSheffrey too. I might not know. Okay, well, in, in, today you were, okay? So thank you for being here. 
One of the toughest things to do in this organization is to follow General Dent when he speaks, because that is like his superpower. It is not my superpower. My wife will tell you I have no superpowers. <laughs> Sir, thank you for that support and your kind words. Um, much appreciated. Uh, today, as I relinquish command of Troop Command and the 10th Homeland Response Force, I am very thankful, okay? Thankful for the opportunity to command such a diverse brigade and thankful for everyone that helped us be successful for the last 16 months. I need to say thanks to my family. I would not be serving or have made it this far without the love and support of my family, my wife Tanya, my kids Brittany, Ethan, and Max, my mom Ruth, and my niece Kathleen, uh, who's actually doing a internship for MedCom right now. So it's a family, family business for us. But they're the best. Uh, thanks for your love and support, the sacrifices that you make uh, so that I can still serve. I love you all. I need to say a thanks to Major General Doherty, Brigadier General Dent, Brigadier General Grennan for putting your faith and confidence in me and providing me the opportunity to command the Troop Command and the HERF. This has truly been one of the highlights of my career and I'm forever grateful for the opportunity. I need to thank my command teams for taking care of our soldiers and balancing the dual federal and domestic mission the Troop Command and HERF perform. You did a tremendous job and I am forever grateful for your efforts. To the audience, I would direct you to the Troop Command social media sites. There's no way I could do justice to everything they've done over the last 16 months. Any accolades I could try to articulate is just, is just not going to hit the mark of all the great things they do on a daily basis. I need to, I need to thank the AGR and her full-time staff. I can't thank you all enough for your hard work and dedication. Any success we had is largely due to your daily efforts to plan and resource training, exercises, and engagements for the Troop Command and the HERF. I need to thank my two XOs, Lieutenants Colonels Durda and Muhich. Thanks for keeping me organized and on task, which I know is a difficult job. Okay, I have ADD. Um, thank you. Uh, keeping me organized and on task, um, and the Joint Staff working together as a team to get the job done. I need to thank our Air Guard partners, Colonels Riley and McGovern, Lieutenants Colonel, Colonels Wenzel and Pence, and the rest of the Air Guard team. I thoroughly enjoyed working with you all on the HERF mission. I appreciate and applaud your efforts to sustain the highly skilled airmen tasked with HERF responsibilities. I need to thank our regional partners, Oregon, Alaska, and Idaho, and the HERF LNOs in those states. Colonel Brewster and his team uh, in the DCE at FEMA Region 10, Thanks for welcoming the HERF as we re-engage regionally after COVID had us all internally focused. It was an honor to meet with you and, and collaborate on regional issues, plan and conduct joint exercises, develop relationships, and enhance preparedness efforts in FEMA Region 10. I need to thank my fellow MSC commanders and the Joint Force Headquarters staff. We wouldn't have been successful at Troop Command and the HERF without your cooperation, support, and understanding. I need to thank my battle buddy, Sergeant Major Sandlin, the staunch advocate for the brigade, our mission, and the soldiers and airmen in the Troop Command and the HERF. I probably learned where, I don't know where he's at, where's he at? I probably learned more from you uh, than you learned from me, except you know now you can eat dill pickle sunflower seeds and it doesn't chew up the inside of your mouth, okay? Thanks again for your friendship and mostly wise counsel. Most of all, I want to thank the soldiers of Troop Command for busting their butts every day to execute training and achieve mission success, which is why you don't see them behind the, the guidons here, because they're out doing what they should be doing, which is training. It has been an honor to serve with all of you. And thanks to the ceremony planners, Chief Cruz, Sergeant Jackson, and the rest of the team that coordinated this event today. You all did a fantastic job. Thank you, Sergeant Steele for being the MC, And I always got to say thanks to the band. You always add a touch of class to all the ceremonies. And thank you for representing Troop Command and the Washington Army National Guard through your many performances. And thanks to Sergeant Shearer. It's the second time today I heard you sing the national anthem, and it's beautiful every time.
And I have to say thanks to the Red Leg, Ma Red Leg Mafia for the cannon salute. That was unexpected and much appreciated. Action front. Special thanks to whoever in the Troop Command staff approved it since it put Sergeant Major Sandlin in a high hover yesterday. He was pretty mad and his face was redder than his, his mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Durda, congratulations on command. Not the first time we pass colors around. I do believe we did it once or twice in OCS. I'm excited to see how, uh, where you take the troop command in the HERF in the coming years. Uh, you're inheriting a tremendous team, and I know you will, they will support you as well as they supported me. Together, you will do a remarkable job. In closing, thank you all again for your support over the last 18 months. Troop command in the HERF could not have succeeded without you. Always ready, Excelsior. Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Durda, commander of the 96th Troop Command. Thank you, General Grennan, General Welsh, General Ducher, General Smith, Chief Gordon, Sergeant Major Ecclestone, Sergeant Major Honeycutt, and Command Chief, as well as past 96th Troop Command commanders, past HERF commanders, I know one's on um, virtually attending, my emergency management uh, teammates, joint staff, distinguished guests, friends, and family for taking time to attend today's ceremony. It's important to me that I also formally thank my large contingent that I brought today, and that's my family. I would like to welcome my sister Carolyn, her husband Mike, and her granddaughter Luna, my mom and Walt, my dad and Pam, and my husband, of course, and the kiddos as well as my mother and father-in-law who were attending virtually, along with my brothers-in-law and sisters-in-law and my godparents. Thank you for t taking the time to attend today's ceremony. It means a lot to me as I enter into Brigade Command because I couldn't have got here without all of your love and support and helping take care of our family. I also want to thank the Army Band, the Color Guard, the MC, our Commander of Troops, and all of the staff that put together today's great ceremony, as well as Chief Cruz and her team for helping put the refreshments together for me. Thank you, General Dent and General Grennan for your confidence in me and for selecting me for this command. I'm truly honored, humbled, and excited to be your next 96 Troop Command Commander, as well as assume the 10th Homeland Response Force mission. For those that may not know, I started my enlisted and officer career here in the 96th Troop Command nearly 28 years ago. It looked vastly different from the organization that it is today, and it's been a couple of decades since I was last here. The thing in support of federal and state missions, 96th Troop Command has some important lineage as the first brigade to send troops to Iraq in support of OIF-1, as well as provide a joint task force for the largest state response throughout the pandemic. The small but mighty headquarters and diverse battalions and units with distinctly different missions is what makes Troop Command such a great brigade. Tag counts on 96 Troop Command for the Homeland Response Force and to be the joint task force for state missions. It is an honor and a privilege to lead such a distinguished organization with such critical missions. Colonel Michalo, thank you for handing over such a great brigade. I received the TRIST briefs from the units, and I was delighted to hear the direction that they were heading, supporting the national defense strategy, as well as multi-domain operations. You've made a significant impact in the short time that you have been in command, and the brigade is better for it. Your legacy is the seed sown that I get to harvest. I have big shoes to fill, but I intend to build on the foundation that you've left behind. I also want to say congratulations on your next assignment as the Washington Army National Guard Chief of Staff. Not many get the privilege to serve in such an esteemed position within this organization, so congratulations. Tanya and Ruth, thank you for sharing your husband and son with this great organization. I have no doubt that he put in some late nights and traveled often. Without your sacrifice, I would not be as fortunate as I am to come in such a fine brigade. Thank you for your loving support during his command. 
To the members of 96 Troop Command, I am so thrilled to be home again. I have a lot to learn from you, and I'm excited to continue the integration of the 10th Homeland Response Force. We have a lot to look forward to as we prepare for 303rds XCTC and CTC rotation, 506th MPs deployment, 1041st MSF mission, and the HERF seat inspection, just to name a few things. I feel fortunate to have some of the strongest staff and commanders in the state who make these tasks look effortless. 96 Troop Command, you are the keystone of the Washington Army National Guard, and I am proud to be your commander. Last but most important, I want to thank my husband, Christian, and children, Dominic, Emilia, and Maximilian, for, showing, for allowing me to put the guard first at times. Everyone always assumes that because Christian serves, we understand the demands of command, which makes it easier. But I'm here to dispel that myth. <laughs> Managing two military careers just means the burden is more challenging and often it falls to our children and parents. Dominic, Emilia, and Max, I know it's not always easy, but thank you for pulling together as Team Durda and supporting each other during our absences. Christian, thank you for all that you do to support the children and me. I'm so grateful for the sacrifices you make and the grace you provide me. I could not assume command without Team Durda's generous love, support, and understanding. You guys are my world, and I love you very much. 96 Troop Command, I look forward to serving with each and every one of you and continuing this great work of this very distinguished brigade. Excelsior, always ready, soldier first. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the Army song. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. Thank you all for your attendance.